Friends, what do you know about the country of Georgia? Right now I'm living in its capital, Tbilisi, and I found the city super fascinating and interesting. And I think it's absolutely perfect for digital nomads, exactly who I am right now. And in this video, I decided to tell you more about the real life here, about cost of living for groceries, apartments, and also about things what you can do here. And yeah, so welcome to my channel, everybody. I'm Dari, and let's get started. Friends, if this is the first time when you're watching my videos, let me just quickly tell you about myself. My name is Dari, I'm 24 years old, and last year I've been living in Moscow, Russia. I was obviously a YouTuber, and also I was a business development manager for one affiliate marketing company. And then because of the war, I was forced to leave Russia and I moved to Istanbul, Turkey. Then at some point I quit the industry, which wasn't make me happy and which I wasn't interested in. And I was continue being a YouTuber for a few months. Also, I was teaching Russian language online and I'm still doing it. And then recently I moved to Belize, Georgia, and also I joined the team of Let's Shake Hand Startup, which helps Ukrainian kids in the current world. So this is what I'm doing right now. I'm a Russian teacher, in Russian language teacher, business development manager in startup, and also I'm a YouTuber. Yesterday, I changed the cover of my YouTube. What do you think? I love it personally. I think it suits my channel very well. Let me know your opinion in the comments. I'm on my way to one cafe where I'm gonna work for many hours. Just look at this road with full of worse shit and I can't help but wonder if one of these gonna fall down on me. This road is super nice. Uh, in the beginning it was a little bit sketchy because there were no pedestrian roads. But right now it's just so beautiful. Especially when you come closer to the old town of Belize and you can see already some churches and also those houses uh, on the hills. Wow, super beautiful. I'm sitting here with my friends, Sasha say hi, hi. and with Anton, hello, hello hello. In the last four hours I've been working in yeah, this cute cafe, it's my first time here, usually I was going to another ones, but it looks super cozy so I'm definitely gonna come back. And I'm so happy because I must finish research for the startup which I'm helping right now, Electric Hands. The idea of this project is to help Ukrainian children affected by the war to continue their education. Our charity believes that one way to do it is through connecting Ukrainian kids with young people from other countries who can assist them in learning a foreign language or other subject. So guys, if you would like to become a mentor and help those kids, use the link in the description. I really want to take an interview from him because he's actually also a digital nomad here in Belize. Sasha, mm -hmm. я снимаю видео сейчас про жизнь digital nomads в Тбилиси. Mm -hmm. И ты сколько тут уже живешь? Я живу четвертый месяц в Тбилиси с сентября до декабря. Mm -hmm. Ты можешь вообще рассказать твои впечатления и сколько у тебя примерно выходит, ну как бы стоимость на проживание, на еду примерно? Как мне кажется, эта страна очень комфортная в плане местоположения. Mm -hmm. Здесь очень много мест, которых вы можете посетить попутешествовать здесь очень много гор здесь очень много фруктов и относительно теплая погода сколько ты платишь за проживание где ты живешь за проживание я получу 930 лари сейчас будет здесь цена я живу в хостеле в 12 12 местной комнате мне кажется на еду у меня уходит где-то 300 200 долларов. 200, 200 долларов в месяц. Ну, в принципе, это можно сказать дешево на самом да, деле. Да, очень дешево. 
тебе вообще комфортно тут вот работать, гулять? Мне очень комфортно находиться в Тбилиси. Как мне кажется, столица Грузии, она очень движовая. Здесь можно найти много людей, с которыми ты можешь сделать коллаборацию, сделать какие-то проекты. И в целом ты можешь найти здесь новые проекты для, по своей работе. Круто, спасибо большое. В общем, ты советуешь людям со всего мира приезжать сюда. Это точно. By the way, taxi in Georgia is quite cheap. For example, this 20-minute drive cost me less than $4. Okay, I'm super late. A few months ago, I started practicing yoga, and oh my god, it has such a good influence on my health, so I totally recommend you to do it. And one class costs here less than $10. And as for the prices for public transport, going to metro costs just one lari, or 30 cents. And this is how metro looks like. Quite so weird trains. And by the way, interesting thing that they open doors earlier than they stop the train. I never seen this in other countries. It's 10 p.m. and I just finished this research for the Let's Shake Hands startup. I'm so proud of myself and I'm so happy because this is something I've been doing for the last two weeks. And this week it was from the very morning until the very night. So I'm so happy I did it. And yeah, this place, it's so atmospheric. It's kind of co-working and also a cafe, a bar, and it's super atmospheric. So guys, definitely come visit here. If not to work, at least take a coffee. And by the way, guys, please don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments and also push the like button under this video later on. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to continue our adventures around the world. Now let's talk about some benefits of being a digital nomad here in Belize, Georgia. One of the first important things for me is actually the nice weather. Here is the beginning of January and look how I'm dressed out and it's very warm right now, approximately 12 degrees Celsius and we're sunny and to roof to be told, I think the last few weeks the sun was almost every day and it was quite warm. Um, there was a little bit of snow in December, but that's it. In summer it can be sometimes hot from what my friends were telling me with approximately 30-35 degrees Celsius, but other than that it's very sunny and warm. Another important thing to consider is actually safety. Belize is considered to be quite a safe city. Maybe after the Soviet Union collapsed, it wasn't so, but then when there was a reform for police officers and they stopped being corrupted because of that, now it's actually quite safe. And as a woman, I feel very comfortable walking here around the streets. Yes, of course, it's important not to go alone at night during the, some sketch districts, but you know, it's everywhere in the world. But I also cannot not to mention to you the situation with gypsies on the Liberty Square. There are a few groups of gypsies who are being there all the time and many of them are kids and often they just run onto people and steal something from them. Just a week ago when I was walking there I saw three kids jump on one person, he fell down and then the same day in the evening I heard the news that they stole something from him. So it's a very common situation and everybody I'm talking to really don't like this in Belize. But unfortunately since they're kids and without any passports or any documents, police can do nothing with that. So just when you'll be in Belize, be careful on the Liberty Square. Also, Belize is quite an expensive city. If you want to use a public bus or metro, it costs you just one lari. And food here in the restaurants, cafes is also quite reasonable. Uh, in many cases, it will cost you quite cheaper than in USA, Canada, or let's say Europe, at least the western part of it. Uh, so I feel very comfortable here. Also, if you want to go out for a drink or to museum, gallery or some event, it's also not that expensive. Uh, I would say gas here may be a little bit pricey. I would expect it to be a little bit cheaper. Uh, but other than that, it's totally okay. And if you already start talking about prices for food, let's go to a grocery shop and to see the prices ourselves. Uh, we are going to Fresca. It's one of the most popular ones in the city. 
Right now, one American dollar is 2.7 lire, local money. For some reason, a few minutes later, they told me it's actually forbidden to record videos in the grocery store. Well, this is the first time when I heard this, but anyways, I still tried to record you a little bit about the prices so you have a better idea about the cost for food here, and I think it's quite reasonable. So I'm taking bananas, some apples, and also cucumber because I want to make some salad at night. And I like this one also, so I'm taking this one. The prices for olive oil. I would really like to make a risotto today. So you can see a lot of different prices and I don't know which should I take. Uh, maybe this one. I would take those ones, my favorite. Why not to take this sweet? I love those ones. This is a dessert with a boiled concentrate milk and it was very popular in Soviet Union, so it's kind of a test of my childhood. Even though I wasn't born in Soviet Union, but it was very popular when I was a kid. Here are the prices for bread, but I didn't find the one I liked the most, so I didn't take it. And here are the prices for butter. And for cheese, I personally love this one. Oh my gosh, that's so tasty. Wine can be called the cultural drink of Georgia because, in fact, uh, this is the first country where wine appears. So you can find here lots of lots of local wine, very delicious one. And since I want to cook risotto today, I'm going to buy white wine. And by the way, it's quite cheap. So I'm taking this one. I already took it a few times and it's very tasty. So another cultural dish here called hinkale. And here are the prices. Here are the prices for chicken. Most of them are for one kilo. I took the half of kilo. For some reason, I couldn't find here beef, but we could see some chicken prices and also for fish. Maybe it's the 3rd of January, still holidays. That's why you can't find here lots of meat today. Let's see how much it's going to be for all the products. The total price I paid is less than $24 and I bought quite a lot of stuff. So let me know how much it's going to be in your country. That's why Georgia is perfect for freelancers and also digital nomads is first of all, it's visa free to many countries as I mentioned to you. You can stay here for a year and then you can just leave for a few hours to another country and then come back and the visa will renew. And the second and very important thing here is actually low taxes. If you will register yourself as an independent entrepreneur here in Georgia, often you can pay just one percentage if you don't earn quite a lot of money. And I like this is something you should really consider and think of. I'm going to attach the article where you can read more about taxes here in Georgia for independent entrepreneurs in the description of this video. So maybe it will be very useful for you. But the city is very interesting and there are so many things to do. For example, you you can go to some galleries to check it out or you can just go in the city and see the street art which is absolutely amazing and i cannot not imagine that Belize is the second city after berlin for techno music so you can also have some fun here in the clubs and not forget about the nature here there are a few hiking trails exactly where we're right now and i suppose let's go for a walk and check it out because it looks absolutely beautiful Right now we are going to a giant wheel and one ticket costs 10 lire. Approximately after a few hours of the hike, we came to the final spot, the Turtle Lake. The view here is also very lovely and yeah, there are a few hiking trails which you can go. I think when we're gonna come back, we're gonna take another one, but yeah, so nice. If you're in Belize, guys, must do things. Right now 
we are going down by cable car which is approximately 60 years. It doesn't look so safe to be honest. Now let's discuss some drawbacks of living in Belisim and the most important one is going to be the current prices for the apartments. Even a year ago, you were able to find some apartment for free $400 in the city center and there was a big chance that it wouldn't, it wouldn't be just one bedroom but probably few rooms apartment. Well, right now, unfortunately, it's impossible and the best scenario, like you'll be super lucky if you will find for $600 one bedroom apartment in the outskirts of Belize. But the current prices are approximately a thousand, a thousand and two hundred dollars for one bedroom apartment. And again, it's not in the city center. And by the way, worth to say that for this amount of money, you will probably get some apartment like that. It will be a very Soviet and probably very old house. It wouldn't be very comfortable to live there. All this happened because of the war that Russia started with Ukraine. Many Russians who don't support the government, who don't support this war and who don't want to participate in this were forced to move away from the country. And since Georgia doesn't require a visa and still accept Russians, many of them moved here. And because of that, the prices for the apartments increased enormously, sometimes even five times higher than it was just a year before. Another thing that you should consider is that service can be sometimes poor here. For example, in the restaurants and cafes, I often wait quite a long time just to say what I want to order and then waiting quite a long time for the bill and also for example if the dish is not so well for example super salty that impossible to eat for example in other countries I would be able to tell this and probably they would change it for free here it won't happen like that so this is something you need just to get used to. Continue talking about service, many people who live in Belize for a long time told me that it's very common if they order something uh, for their house, the delivery guy will tell, okay, I will come today, and then he never, ca he never comes. He comes maybe in two days or three days, and he doesn't notify you about that. Another thing is that if you want to travel to another countries, the plane tickets can be quite pricey. Uh, for example, I know when you live in Europe and you want to travel to another country, you can find some plane tickets for reasonable price in most cases and similar to USA if you want to travel around the country while here um, if you want to go somewhere to Europe or even Turkey and the countries nearby it's quite expensive for example recently I was looking for a plane tickets to Azerbaijan and I think it was approximately three hundred dollars three and fifty hundred dollars uh, without a bag uh, just with your hand luggage and it's takes approximately an hour to fly there so it's next by country and I found this quite unreasonable and quite pricey. And the last thing that I wanted to mention isn't really a drawback or benefit. I believe every of you will choose it for themselves. Uh, I found it actually a drawback. And this is that Belize is quite a small city and you can cross it quite quickly. So if you're gonna live here for on the long term uh, it might get boring for you. For me, just perfect to live in Belize for approximately six months and then maybe move to another place to explore another culture. Uh, maybe for you it's not going to be like that and you guys love uh, not the big cities, very cute and cozy ones. So Belize is going to be for you. In the end of this video, I just really wanted to share some of my impressions of being a digital nomad here in Belize. I think overall it's quite nice. It's not that noisy and crowded as Istanbul. The city is very historical, interesting and also quite atmospheric to be honest. And yeah, I think it, it's comfortable to be here a digital nomad. Moreover, the community of nomads here increasing daily, so I think in a few years there are going to be much more people. Uh, but I, I don't think I would like to live here longer than six months. Even though it's quite nice, I still find the city a bit undeveloped in terms of service. And also here you can see a lot of broken and abandoned buildings. Uh, and you can see that the level of life here is not that high. So yeah, I'm super happy to be here and I definitely advise you to come to Tbilisi even if you are not planning to move here, at least to visit because it's definitely, definitely worth <laughs> your attention. Thank you so much for watching this video until the very end. I really hope you enjoyed this and if so, don't forget to leave your feedback in the comments and push the like button as always. And yes, subscribe to my channel and let's explore all the world together.